during my senior year, the Oregon Department of Education uh, released comprehensive trans guidelines with protections for trans students. We set a policy in Oregon that talked about how schools should uh, work with and support trans students, and then that was adopted nationally um, during Obama's administration, um, a policy that was incredibly based off of ours, so we really like set the standard there. Being in a gender-affirming environment um, did so much for my own mental health because I didn't have to worry about going to school and being misgendered every day. Knowing that those were out there for the entire state of Oregon, you know, for Medford and Dallas and the Dalles, it made me feel good for the kids who are trans in those places because the state of Oregon protects them and publicly is telling administrations how to help protect them. I don't know how I'd feel so much if I was somewhere where I wasn't able to have some victories. I would feel pretty disheartened. But now I can read national news and then compare it to how we're actually saving lives here in Oregon. And it feels good. It feels really good. Basic Rights Oregon does amazing work. Just recently they helped get legislation passed that made Oregon the first state to have a non-binary gender marker on IDs. I know that things aren't going to change overnight with this ID, but I believe that this is going to make or hopefully reduce the instances in which I'm misgendered. It's truly my privilege today to celebrate Oregon's first standalone transgender equality law. HB 2673A reflects our tradition of protecting the li liberty and dignity of our people. HB 2673 makes it possible for trans folks to change their name and gender marker without going through a legislative process. So no public posting, um, no invasion of privacy. The fact that other trans people coming along, they've committed themselves, and now they want to get their ID changed, that used to be just this terrifying prospect. And now it's not because of Basic Rights work. Queer people in the workplace, we were out sort of, we were just really starting to poke our heads, but it was very much on terms of like, we're gay, we're lesbian, maybe we're bi. Being trans was still, you don't talk about that. You just, you just don't talk, and I didn't. I honestly didn't. I know that it was because of the work that Basic Rights Oregon had done um, that by the time I really needed to be out because of insurance issues and because of actually getting ready for surgery, my employer, I didn't have to educate my employer. I really didn't. They had already had education provided by somebody, either from Basic Rights Oregon or somebody who had been trained with Basic Rights Oregon. So they, there, were, there were questions I didn't have to answer because HR had already prepped management, if this happens, this is how you deal. In Madras, I knew that there was no chance for me to get affirming care. When I was a teenager and I dropped out of school because I was receiving death threats and having panic attacks, I was put on a trial of an antidepressant and told that I will never be happy here, that I, I do not have access to anything that will make me happy. Once I moved to Portland, there was a shift. I knew that I could go to a doctor and talk open and honestly about things like my the sexual practices. They trust my expertise as myself because I've been living this truth for years. One of the reasons why I support Basic Rights Oregon is because I've watch these changes over 25 years. Like, honestly, the fact that I'm out, the fact that I'm on camera and saying, I am a trans woman, I am proud of the journey I've been on, is testament to what you guys have done because you've created a climate where I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid for that to be publicly known. Having these victories is really encouraging. It helps me believe in where we can go as a country, where we can go as American people. Help make it so that we're just Oregonians, because really that's really most of what we want to be, just, just Oregonians, Americans, living our lives, doing nothing.